Alright, wasting some time here with a replay of uh, myself in the Tier 7 Russian cruiser, the Shores. And I am joined by Seth and Ouch That Hurts in the, uh, they're both in the Indianapolis. We're on North uh, for Division, no not for Division, <laughs> I'm in a Division, 4 cap mode here on Domination. And we're going to go off to the A side, try to uh, catch this side. A lot of times people don't go over here, and I'm going to kind of keep my, my distance in approaching this. I want to be able to turn away and get away, just so we know what's around that corner before we really commit to it. Not a bad uh, matchup, uh, you know, just a few tier 8s to contend with. There's four tier 8s on the enemy team. And just uh, one on our team, but we have more tier sevens than they do. They have a lot of tier sixes, uh, so it's not a terrible matchmaker. It seems like the the shores is. It really feels like uh, the Kutsov, the Mikhail Kutsovs. Feels like it's a little little brother, minus the uh, smoke uh, and the ability to wreck uh, AA on well, wreck enemy fighters with your crazy anti aircraft stuff. Uh, but it still kind of plays the same. You don't want uh, to be focused down by battleships. You want to keep your range from battleships. You can engage a uh, singular cruiser if uh, you know you want to like close with that. You know, just one cruiser that's fine. But uh, man, really support and sticking with the team is kind of your uh, your strong point until, especially in the initial the initial uh, engagement here. And that's what I'm going to, going to do. Man, I'm having a hard time talking. That's not abnormal. I'm not spotted by this war spot yet. The <laughs> Seth slammed the brakes on in front of me. I'm like, okay, so this is this is happening. <laughs> and now, uh, enemy war spite is over there. I am detected now. I'm gonna turn away. Definitely want to get some range on this guy. Way too close to me to for me to be feel comfortable. Complete whiff on the first volley there. That's terrible. And Linsar in the war spot. Second hit is much better. Nine hits and a fire. And uh, three of us just focusing down one one battleship there. Almost always going to run. I'm feeling a little bit better about turning back in. Uh, of course, war spikes turrets are so slow that it's going to be a while before you can actually get those turrets back turned towards us. The back ones are coming around now, but uh, we don't have to worry about anything else for the moment. Still detected. And kind of in a, a nice, uh, quick engagement. The rest of our team is uh, going for the caps. Kind of in a really spread out, haphazard manner. If you look at the matchmaker, it's kind of weird. Like, no team really focuses anything at the very beginning. That was a, a nice uh, damage roll there. Seven hits for nothing. And shooting at this war spite. War spite, he doesn't want anything to uh, do with me shooting at him. And since A looks pretty clear, I'm going to go ahead and head into it, try to get that cap. Uh, our team has two caps, and they don't have uh, any on the enemy team yet. The uh, A and C cap are still a bit disputed. D cap is actually disputed right now, but uh, we have a destroyer in there. And run off uh, Linsar. Ooh, that was a nice uh, hit. Six rounds for 2200. And still detected by uh, that war spite. War spite stopped shooting, so he would fall off a radar there. Now he's opening back up. Lost about half his health so far. Let me destroy your front. Gonna run this Mitsuki off here. Try to turn a little bit. Got a nice uh, fire on him. That does increase his detection uh, range by a little bit, if I recall. And he pops smoke and hightails it out of there. Gonna turn in. But there is torpedoes off there on the uh, other side, headed towards our battleship there. So we don't really worry about torpedoes. And I'm not going to go around this corner. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> get close to the corner. I really want to spot that destroyer. War Spite is still there. War Spite is shooting at our battleship behind me there. Closer. Catch some rounds, please. And here comes the fun part. We get a nice uh, 
It didn't actually pop up there, but you heard the noise, and if you know what that is, we're going to have a cyclone. We're going to have the weather event that knocks down our uh, view range down to uh, 8 kilometers. It takes it a minute to work up, but that's what's going to be going on for the rest of this uh, replay. See the rain starting to pick up a bit. It's kind of an interesting mechanic. I've always had g enjoyable games when this has happened. It really throws a wrench in a lot of people's play style. Anyways, shooting at this uh, Cleveland. Don't want to go around into A. And especially really, really need to be careful about how close you get to a battleship in this kind of weather uh, in a cruiser because you can just get completely wrecked by them pretty quick. But on the other hand, you can uh, sneak up on them sometimes, and that can work out just fine. Uh, going to go engage these two cruisers over here. Sep and Ouch are kind of doing uh, stuff in the A-cap still. And I am more concerned with uh, killing this cruiser in B-cap. Chino Styles. Hello, Cleveland. Would you like to die? Please say yes. Destroy this gentleman. He is a... Uh, around the corner exposing themselves to a large amount of our uh, our <laughs> fleet here which is really silly and he's just gonna pay for it pretty quick enemy destroyer coming in the uh, the storm hasn't picked up all the way so we still see this visibility for that Omniboy a few more rounds kill this Cleveland I don't get the kill smarty does or samurai my bad and there's a Molotov trying to hide over there. I don't know exactly what he's doing. But there we go. Full effect on the storm now, I think. And you can see him on the mini-map, but you can't actually uh, see him and shoot him. You can put rounds over there and hopefully hit. <laughs> you kind of know the general direction the are. Molotov, or Mitsuki, my bad. Straight front. Always go after the destroyers. They are just nice, lovely little... Uh, XP Pinatas got a really good volley into him that first volley took half a cell. And he's way too close in this kind of weather. Nice second volley there, and he is uh dead. He actually got a detonation, didn't he? Have a detonation, sir. And now we have the enemy Ognivoy around the corner there. Definitely want to kill this Ognivoy to get the pressure off our Nagato. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Seth and uh, Ouch, they kind of hang around the A-cap there. Uh, I wasn't really, they were, I don't recall what they were talking about, so I don't, uh, I was kind of focused on, on doing this, killing this guy, killing the uh, battleship that's behind the Ognivoy. Can't see him yet because of weather effects, obviously. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to get blowed up? And he's just kind of sitting there, you know, I, he's... We're just relying on uh, luck and not being hit by our battleship uh, just because the battleship dispersion. He actually does, uh, they do kill our Nagato there. That's unfortunate. And Spartus does get that cruiser that uh, took him out. So that's uh, that's nice. <coughs> Spartus was our, our uh, Nagato that glowed up. I'm trying to get a bit of range. I know I'm close enough to spot this guy. Uh, <clears throat> not too worried about it. Shooting a nice volley. I really like hunting destroyers in the shores and the coots off. Just got to be careful with your angles that you expose to enemies here. And just picking on these uh, enemy destroyers that are overextending in the weather. You have to be careful in a destroyer with the weather too. And Seth and uh, Ouch over there fighting an the enemy cruiser, enemy destroyer. I think there's a couple battleships over there too. Not a great situation for them. And shots out. Don't get a lot of hits there. Aiming a little too low. <laughs> kind of a, a low profile ship, the Ognivoy there. I want to get it killed. He's dead. Kill number two. Fairly even on the teams right now. Uh, ouch, just got uh, messed up. <clears throat> See Seth turning back in there. I, I don't know. Exactly what that is about. Enemy turpits. This is what I'm going to try to run from. I don't want any part of having this turpits near me right now. I want to be outside the 8 kilometer spotting for him. That's immediately why I'm, I'm turning away. I'm about to exit it, so I go ahead throw some shells out there. He can't see him anymore. Now we're going to turn up back to B. 
and we really need to cap right now. That was shots from the uh, Terpets. He did miss me, thankfully. And Seth was uh, just destroyed by those two battleships that are right there. That's the Terpets and a war spite right there. It's, uh, it's, you really have to pay attention to the <laughs> where the enemy battleships are when you're in a cruiser. These weather events, man, they will they will sneak up on you, and you're not going to be in a good position to do anything about it, most likely. And that interprets is spotting me again. I am trying really hard to stay away from. I see that war spite's about to actually ground himself, and my hope is to capture B, get some shots into this battleship that's uh, heading down into our two battleships. That interprets right there, masterly 1993, and hopefully we can either avoid or kill that war spite. I don't know what his health is on right now. And now, unfortunately, it's just two. This Colorado and me left. <clears throat> Things are looking bad. And Colorado has a destroyer coming up on him. The Turpets coming up on him. And the Turpets is dead right there. And, of course, that Colorado has a... Uh, Man, it's just bad news. He has the <laughs> destroyer right next to him. That's uh, charging full speed at him. I can't see him because of the weather. And that Mutsuki. There we go. Yeah, more shots from the uh, the Terpets. Set me on fire. Don't want any part of that. <laughs> Turn off the... Use our uh, repair party to stop the fire. It's all bad. And now we have a silly Lansar, the war spider. Our friend! We've made again! <laughs> <laughs> uh. so I didn't get that cap because that turpets is kind of hot on my heels there really hoping to kill this uh, Mitsuki and the uh, the war spike really need this volley to do what it just did and kill that guy really happy about that war spite is just around this corner gonna try to sneak up on him he is uh, backing up that's the wrong direction. His turrets are facing the wrong way. It's just, it's nothing good going on for this guy right now. It's really all bad. He does open up with the secondaries there. Get the fire on me. I was actually expecting him when I came around to be going the other way. Slam on the brakes. And a nice uh, kill right there. I am on fire again, which I'm not uh, too pleased about. And my team not wanting me to ram the guy. I didn't. Have, I don't want to ram him. <laughs> There's no ramming in uh, well, the warships. There's only a torpedo in you after I get really insanely close. And so now we're going to go around here to the A cap. Just two enemies left. I have uh, four kills. It's doable, but not easy. That turpets behind me had most of his health, uh, unless something buddy else did something crazy to him. Put your try hard pants on right now and uh, try to get around this corner, cap this, and kill the turpets. And we're down to, uh, yeah, we have no caps. This is a, it's a rough situation to be in. Really need to even out the caps as quick as I can and try to get around here. I'm actually going to switch to free up the camera mode. I'm going to slow down just a little bit as I come around this corner. I don't want to get out of this cap before I actually take it. And ouch, that hurts as a pimp in the YouTube channel. YouTube channel there. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> I think he does it just to embarrass me, probably. <clears throat> and slowing down so we get this cap before we exit it. Always important, just going to half speed there. And I have the, the camera freed. Going around this corner really close, hoping to get into the B gap as quick as possible. But, you know what? <laughs> Detected. And yeah, there's Turpitz's 2K. He is, uh, Overpinned all those. Immediately, my action is to turn. I should have uh, slowed down a bit quicker. I'm just starting to slow down now. I got four torpedo hits. I was really hoping those would uh, hit him. And slowing down. The ship is on 
Ah, uh, the failure. The failure! I could have killed them! The other side of my torpedoes, but, uh, you know, failure is an option, guys. That camera work wasn't the best, but, uh, yeah, you get to sit there and look at your your score. You got, I got 472,000 credits, 150,000 damage almost, and a nice slew of uh, medals there on my, my defeat. It's a loss, and if you notice, I actually have the highest XP, base XP, out of everybody in the, the entire, uh, both teams, yeah. Put my tried hard pants on, didn't, uh, didn't quite fill them there. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. Yep, decent amount of, uh, damage caused to these folks. Really, really beat up those, uh, destroyers. That's really what gets it for you in the credits and XP, uh, money making. So hopefully you all enjoyed, and that's what I think about the shores. It's a good ship. It's like a... Play it like a coot stuff and you can do okay, you just don't have the smoke. Hopefully you enjoyed. Come back and see me.